Thank you, Fleur. I am so grateful for you being here today. Uh, when it comes to the business world, you are absolutely synonymous with the word success. So I truly appreciate your time. I appreciate so your energy and your efforts to be here today. Um, like everyone, our time is precious, but I know you're a busy, beautiful uh, working mum and thank you for your insight today. Uh, I called upon Fleur to help um, in particular and she chose the word communication, which mm -hmm. even though um, uh, the other guests that we've had so far have laboured on the concept of communication. When I think of that C word, Fleur, you absolutely resonate. And so uh, in regards to communication, I can think of no better than yourself to discuss how we can utilise and change and stretch and grow um, looking at communication uh, in these uncertain times. And before we started recording, we were speaking of, you know, a couple of clients concerns that you're dealing with at the moment. And one thing that everyone is feeling at the moment is just really feeling super heavy and everyone's mm -hmm. energy is quite drained. So our intent is to bring hope and potential mm -hmm. and a resource and Fleur, without further ado, thank you so much for your time today and your resources. And with communication in mind, um, what do you feel at the moment, you know, brands or businesses are getting right or getting wrong or something that they mm. can improve on? Sure. Look, I think um, one of the key things we need to remember is that people are going to remember how you made them feel mm. at this time. And that is going to dictate how they feel about your brand moving forward in the foreseeable future. So we, it is an opportunity here for us to engage with our clients or customers, whoever your audience is. And to me, I sort of feel like what I've been witnessing and what we're all saying is that there's almost four groups when it comes to how people are handling things at the moment. So the, the first one is the people that haven't acknowledged it. Mm -hmm. Business as usual, still posting away their little updates on social media. Um, maybe they have uh, addressed it internally, but externally with customers and their audience, they haven't addressed it. To me, this is really tone deaf. Mm -hmm. This is affecting everybody in the world. It isn't business as usual. We're all having to adapt how we're doing things. People are going to lose their jobs. Some businesses won't survive. So you posting your usual updates is actually just going to alienate people. And I think if you are doing that in your business right now, and I, and I understand that some people feel like there's enough sort of doom and gloom out there. We just want to move on with things. But I still think it needs to be addressed. This is a crisis. How are you as a company addressing it? I then think um, the second group are the brands that are almost, I'm calling them the corona virus deniers um <laughs> a bit like holocaust deniers because you know they're posting things along the line the lines of um we're imploring you to keep it in perspective and um don't spread fear don't be hysterical i you know i agree don't spread fear don't be hysterical but at the same time the reality is is that people are scared people are fearful so you're telling them basically that their feelings therefore are invalid so I'm not liking that road that some people are going down as well. I think there's a different way that you could approach that if that is your, your brand's feelings. Maybe it's more bringing some light and inspiration to their day as opposed to don't do something. Maybe just send them in a different journey of we're still going to be bringing you um, motivation and inspiration as on the flip side of that. Um, I think then there are also brands that are only talking about themselves, how this affects their business. The reality is this is affecting all of us. Um, and I think that that's really showing a disconnect from your customers because your customers are your business. Um, so when I think that we're seeing that there are some brands that are truly innovating, mm -hmm. they're, they're looking at ways how they can change things. They're doing online conferences if they can't have events. Um, you know, they're opening online shops so we can still get their products. So look at how you can add more value virtually and look at what the flow on effect is for your customers, not just how this affects you and your business. Mm -hmm. And then the last group is definitely brands are doing it well, Emma. Um, they're showing genuine care for their customers, for their staff. They're telling us every step of the way what they're doing. 
um, and how they're managing this, this time within their businesses. They're also looking at new ways they can add value. Mm -hmm. um, and what they can bring to us in terms of solutions. Mm -hmm. So I think that I, I appreciate that everyone's doing their best. This isn't something we could have planned for. Uh, but I also think we have an opportunity here to look at ourselves as a business and how we survive this. And there's a few groups within the ones I've mentioned there that may not survive because of the way they're approaching things. Yeah, you're right. And it is more than ever vital to be looking at how you can pivot your revenue stream, how you can change mm -hmm. your brand. And yeah, almost in a way coming from a point of blissful ignorance, if you're not addressing these things on the daily or the monthly, like we should be evolving and looking at how we can pivot and, and aware of, you know, if you're a hairdresser and you, you break your hand, well, that's just as I might have just lost you, Emma. Oh no, the internet, the, the joys of now the drain <laughs> of the <laughs> the World Wide Web and our cable system. Um, That's it. Okay. Um, uh, Fleur, thank you. Uh, given that uh, a giant chunk of of insight with regards to brands that are doing it well and not doing it so well, you you mentioned there about opportunity, and I think that's really beautiful. And it is a piece around you know how you can pivot and evolve and grow from this because mm -hmm. let's be honest, it is so uncertain what we're dealing with now, but it's also so uncertain what we'll see on the other side. You know, when will that be? Will the world will be very different and certainly in business will be so different on the other side. Mm -hmm. So everyone is in the same boat of yeah. taking it day by day and trying as best to future proof their business. Thank you, Flo. I really appreciate today. Do you have any? That's okay. I do have some parting Good. words of advice, Emma. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I think um, the only way that we can possibly see this in any positive light is that it's going to force us to innovate as companies. Um, and it's going to ask some tough questions about what value are we bringing as businesses and what extra value can we be bringing to our customers or clients? You know, I've, all of us are getting EDMs this week from all the brands we followed, you know, well, not all of them, but a lot of them telling us what they're doing. And then we're starting to see out the other side of that, of how they're going to communicate with us moving forward. And I've seen some really lovely pieces. You know, I've seen high-end restaurants that have sent... Um, you know, their signature dish in a recipe. So we've got the secret sauce now. Um, and that was really just, to me, I was like, I was looking at that going, so they've just done that as a value add, so we don't forget about them. So then fun. you've seen restaurants that are also doing um, deliveries for the first time or takeaway. You know, Qantas has done a tremendous job this week and maybe they haven't gotten it all always right. But in saying that, they have communicated with us every step of the way. They've given their customers options. Um, you know, we can change our flights for free to any time or get a credit note. They're trying to get people back from around the world. Now, I'm sure on the flip side of that, they've also um, announced that they're letting their, a large chunk of their teams go. And so I'm sure not everyone feels like they're getting it right this week. But in terms of their communication, they have been communicating with us. Mm -hmm. um, I also saw Beyond Travel sent out... Um, I, don't, I think I might have seen it on LinkedIn, um, inspiration around when we can travel again, let's go to Africa. And they had recipes for Africa, videos for Africa, tips on what to do in Africa. Now, we all know I'm going back to Africa. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I looked at this and I thought as a travel brand, they're still keeping me inspired by the destination. And that's a challenge in their business and they're facing it head on. Um, so I think it's a new world for all of us, mm. definitely. Um, in order to survive, we have to be looking at innovating. And I did see to an alcohol company, this two alcohol brands this week, they were boutique brands. And I think one was gin and one was beer. And they actually have said that they're stopping production on those products because they've made a hand sanitizer instead. Oh, pivot. That's a pivot. Absolutely. Like this is what your customers need. People mm -hmm. will remember this. That's so I think, you know, there's, um, not that I want to say there's good opportunities out of this bad situation because I, I'm sure we'd all prefer not to be in this situation a thousand percent, but I think we are in it. So what are we going to do in our businesses yeah. to give our customers what they need from us right now? So Emma, my parting words to everyone today would be to add value and be genuine in your approach. We're all going through tough times right now and it's time to tap into that emotion in terms of what 
innovation or what value can we be bringing? Um, put the customer at the center of everything that we're doing. What do they need from us? How do we deliver it? That's how we're going to survive in this market. Um, and I think approach things from an element of kindness. Everyone is doing their best right now. It is a really challenging time globally. You know, I've had meetings um, that I was meant to be having international conference calls that have been cancelled indefinitely from different places around the world. Even though people are working from home, it's just challenging. So everyone's doing their best. And I think if we can keep that in mind with the way we're approaching things, um, you know, hopefully we're, we're all learning some things. I agree. Thank you, Fleur. Your insight is fantastic. And I know that just from that small snippet of, uh, of your insight, I know that that will give hope and some strategy to somebody out there who desperately needs it. So thank you. I appreciate Pleasure. your, and good luck. your insight and thank you. No worries. Good luck, everyone.